Nestled in the Niagara Peninsula's southwestern corner where Lake Erie enters the Niagara frontier, Fort Erie offers the best of both worlds with its blend of small city living with the convenience of Toronto and Buffalo's metropolitan luxuries just a short drive away. Fort Erie maintains a rich history and plays host to a diverse scope of renowned festivals full of tradition and heritage. Also home to miles of beautiful beaches, Fort Erie shores of the mighty Niagara River are lined by the Niagara River Parkway, famous for being the best Sunday afternoon drive in the world, according to Sir Winston Churchill. Fort Erie's racetrack at Slots offers one of the most spectacular venues for thoroughbred horse racing in the world and is home to the Prince of Wales Stakes. A year-round home for nearly 30,000 people and a seasonal home for the more than 10,000 who flock to its beachfront properties in the summer, Fort Erie's close proximity to Buffalo allows for a wide range of diverse sightseeing and vibrant nightlife. You know, the main flow of the current right. is heading downriver, but just this is just a reverse eddy. You can see the currents going the opposite direction. Yeah. So really, see how I just kind of pop the rod tip and just keep it bouncing along the bottom? Yeah. You, you felt it tickling as it was going down? Perfect, yeah. Now, can I cast over your... Ab absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look it. A little different than the uh, lower Niagara, hey? A little bit different. A little different than those Chinooks, no? Well, that just goes to show you what we can do with this river. Oh, I just totally... The bite with these is really soft. You know, it's just like that, just a little teeny tap. And as soon as you feel it, you don't want to wait too long. These are really small, but mixed in here, maybe there's a few, but so we have a silver bass. Oh, wow, I've never seen anything like that. I didn't know there was such a thing. Yeah. Do they get bigger? Uh, a real big one's maybe two pounds, but that's about as small as they get. You're showing me up. <laughs> I don't think so. You still got the big bass for the day. I lost my minnow. I was too excited looking at your silver bass. I have mine in a little bit closer. You were really close. Well, sometimes they're right here, and they just kind of swim around. You know, they kind of, river smallmouth move like crazy. All right, so we're using the crayfish today. Is this typically what smallmouth bass would eat in um, this area? Yeah, smallmouth, they're, they're really opportunistic feeders, so they'll take advantage of whatever is readily available in their mm -hmm. home waters. But in here, we do have a lot of crayfish. We also have uh, all kinds of gobies, and the smallmouth take advantage of that. A really healthy population of emerald shiners. Yeah. Different types of shad as well. So it's a really healthy system, and the smallmouth, they take full advantage of it. What do the gobies look like? I've never actually uh, they seen They almost one. look like a tadpole with fins. They got a, oh. a round, chunky head, and then their body kind of tapers down, and they can vary in color. They almost change their color based on the environment they're in. How big are they? Uh, a really big goby is, you know, the size of your hand. Oh, but typically wow. they're small, but they're they're covered all over the bottom. Oh, nice job. Geez. Pull back on the rod a bit, Amanda. Make sure he's... Uh... I gotta tighten my drag, but I wanna take my hand off the... I don't know if you guys can notice, this is a fish okay, let's, tighten your, let's tighten your drag a bit. See how it's just spinning on you? Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Let me, can I help you? Yeah, of course. Please okay, stop feeling for a sec. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. So, just like the salmon, just like we did in the lower, pull up on them slowly, stop reeling, and then gain on the way down. Stop reeling. No, don't reel on the way up. Okay, drop. Bad habit. Stop reeling. That's it. Perfect. That's awesome. Oh yeah, he's a pretty big one. I you, think. you have, I think, you have a pretty good sized fish. That's awesome. Don't get off. Should I tighten my drag up? You know what? No, I, I think you want it loose because if he runs. You want to let him take line, but when he stops pulling, I want you to work him a bit. So pull, pull back on him, pull back, drop and reel. Stop reeling. That's perfect. How's the, new, how's the new combo? Oh, I love Look it. Look at the lights going. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a little dance for me. Small mouth bass. Really? Okay, so slowly raise your tip up for me. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this bass. Get your tip up. He's a lunker. Get your tip up and keep reeling in a bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got him. Nice. You don't want to bend their jaw down too much and hurt them. But if you yeah. get your hand right in here, not on the teeth, but up against it, okay. and on the back jawbone, take the hook and just roll it. Ah, I see, I Sometimes see. it just pulls out. The trick is to kind of roll it. Yeah. Grab your big smallmouth bass. 
Okay, you got it? I do. Wow, what a fish. Is that your biggest smallmouth? I, pretty close. Yeah? Yeah, he's beautiful. Gorgeous fish. All right, let's just get him back in. Okay. So, <laughs> well, all kidding aside, it is the Niagara River, but yeah. In addition to that, it, it, we have a lot of big muskies and we have pike in here. So it, at some point, it, something may have taken a swipe at him or it could be some type of uh, growth or cancer. As soon as he kicks and wants to go, just let him go. There he goes. Bye-bye. Oh, well, check it out, he's just hanging out. There he goes, congratulations. Right. Thank big you. Upper Niagara River smallmouth, what do you think? I am I'm impressed, like yeah. that was huge. So let's go do some more fishing. Downtown Fort Erie. Yeah. Unbelievable. Like I, the largest smallmouth bass I ever caught was probably, eh, little guy. This is, this is by far one of the greatest smallmouth fisheries in the world. Between the upper and lower river and Lake mm -hmm. Erie, it's awesome. So I'm glad you're having fun. Let's get some more. Yeah, I'm having a blast. Thanks. Let's go tour. <laughs>